All right, team, what's going on? I'm Tim Jenkins, and welcome to All Things QB. And today we are checking in on Russell Wilson and his week eight performance against the Kansas City Chiefs in a huge win for this Denver Broncos team. But before we get any further, you football junkies like me, I want you guys to jump over to our Patreon account because we have more clips. The breakdowns are longer. We have free trials, so you can try it before you buy it. And it's a really affordable way to support this channel so we can keep growing this thing. But team, I'm excited about this one because Russell Wilson made some big time throws. Listen, his stats, 100 something yards. That's not crazy, right? Three touchdowns though. Big time throws all over this tape. Great decisions. I think the stats lie. I think he had a dominating performance. I think the film's going to show that. I think we had a couple of key misses that we can clean up, but this Broncos team might be going a little bit of a run here. So please FTA this thing, which means comment for the algorithm. Like this video so other people can see it. And then hopefully by the end of it, I will earn your subscription on YouTube. But without further ado, let's jump into the film. All right, team. We are rolling. We have a big Broncos win over the Kansas City Chiefs. And we are opening this thing up with a Russell Wilson touchdown pass. His first TD pass of the day. But let's break it down. What we've got is we've got Russell. He's on sprint out, right? We're acting like, hey, we're going to sprint out this thing and probably run some sort of pick play, right? That's what the Broncos are trying to sell. What's actually going to happen is we're going to throw screen back to Javante Williams. Key player on this whole thing, left tackle Garrett Bowles. I want you guys to watch Bowles on this one, okay? So watch Bowles. Look at him flash set, release, and block the only guy that can really make a play on that play. Really great job by Bowles. Now I want you guys to watch Javante Williams, okay? Watch how he acts like he's on the backside of a sprint protection. Boom, and then he gets out of there. And then last thing we got to do is I want you guys to watch Russ and we'll let the whole clip run, okay? Russ is going to sell sprint out. Boom, acts like he's sprinting out. Look at how his eyes act like he's reading this play out here, okay? Eyes make it look like he's reading that play out there. Boom, throws his foot in the ground, gets back to his back. Bulls makes a key block. Javante gets vertical. Six points for the Broncos, okay? Every single thing has to go correct for this play to work, right? Everybody has to do their job. We've got to sell sprint. We've got to get Bulls out there to block somebody. Javante's got to act like he's on the backside of a sprint protection and then settle. And then, of course, Javante has to finish. It's exactly what he does. Really good job by the Broncos. Russell's first touchdown pass, okay? So that's a good. This one's kind of a long pre-snap because we're going to motion across and we're going to check the play. But I'm going to let this thing run so you guys can see it. And we just, you know, hey, third down, third and four, we just missed. But what play are we trying to run, right? What's the actual concept? The actual concept is we're going to get our point guy, okay? He's up on the corner route, okay? We've got Cortland Sutton motioning down. He's on the shallow. And then we got Jerry Judy working behind everybody on this little ship route. Hey, there's a chance that this is also an option route where we can just sit down, Okay. Jerry, though, reads this as I need to go in, right? I need to run the ship route, which then makes me think, man, it doesn't feel like an option route if he's, like, snapping that thing hard in like that. And then Russ just behind him, okay? Russ also has a free runner right here ripping down on him, which doesn't make it easy, right? little free runner. But we can't miss that one. Yeah, I'm putting that one on Russ. We're marking that as a bad because I think it's probably a short post route. I think it probably is an in-cut route, and I think Russ needs to be on time and in front with it. If we were to find out that it's an option route, you probably turn into a no grade because it's just simply a guy's not on the same page. But I think Russ honestly knows what he's got, and I think he's just behind him. I think he's just behind him there. So we had the miss on the ship route, but we're going to follow it up with an absolute dime on the deep ball. But again, this is kind of a longer pre-snap, so I'm going to fast forward because I want to start to let these clips roll so you guys can watch the clip once and then we'll play it all back and break it down. But you guys can see that 
Just an incredible catch by Jerry Judy. But let's actually break this thing down. So what are we trying to do here? Okay, what we're trying to do is we've got a little play action in the backfield, meaning just a quick flash fake between the quarterback and the running back, right? So when I say play action, what I mean is it's just the running back and the quarterback are on the fake. Our linemen, boom, we're all setting. Okay, we have five guys setting. When I say run action, it means we got the quarterback and the running back on the fake, but we're also like pulling a guard. You know what I mean? We're, we're doing something else. We're dressing it up in another way. Right here, we just got a little play action. Jerry Judy's in the slot. He's going to run a little corner post. I want you guys to watch Jerry's route. Okay, watch Jerry's route here. Look at him. Get vertical. Get to the corner. See how he got 20's hips to turn? Watch how he gets this. Look how he gets this defender's hips. Boom, the turn right there. Then we can cross face. Great pitch and catch. Just a great catch by Jerry Judy. He's probably all fired up. He's probably yelling that one's for Steve Smith, right? That one's for Steve Smith Sr. Gosh, I love this. Love this pocket navigation. Look at the feel in the pocket here where the pocket starts to open up. Eyes are still downfield, but our body's feeling the opening, stepping up into it, giving our receiver a chance, and our receiver's making us correct. Best feeling in the world is the quarterbacks when you give those guys a chance and then they make it and then they say, hey, thanks for the chance. Let me go make a play. Okay, we got the deep shot. Then we have an absolute beauty. Absolute beauty. We'll let the clip run for you guys so you can take a peek at it. But this is a layer throw from. This is a layer throw from heaven, man. This is exactly what we all thought the Broncos were getting when we heard that they traded for Russell Wilson, okay? It's exactly what we all thought we were getting. We've got what we would call machete, which means we've got a pair of deep overs here, okay, running and intersecting, right? Remember, if you have the deep over, let's say we let's say Jerry Judy was on the deep post, okay? Sorry, my head's cutting that off, but and then we had Sutton on the deep over. Remember, that's Samurai. But if you have the double deep over, that's machete. And Russ does a great job of reading this, but look at this layer throw. Just a thing of beauty, dropping it out of the sky. It's exactly what you want to see. Look at it from the tight here, team. This is like just a beauty of a throw. Look at this thing in slow-mo dropping right in the bucket let me go one more time here full speed a little play action get that thing up golly love that one love that one love that one okay now we got a little no grade okay we got a no grade because we got to let the clip run, sorry. We got the no grade, though, because we've got a flea flicker, but I don't love the design, and I'm going to talk you through why. So we've got our running backs coming up, and then he's going to pitch it back to us, right? That's what makes it a flea flicker. We've got our X. He's leaning in, working vertical, and he's getting back to the corner, okay? And then we've got this take the roof off post. I think Russ, though, is supposed to read this thing based on where his eyes went. I think he's supposed to read this thing one to two, which then worries me because I feel like to, in cold conditions, to hand off, get the ball pitched back to us, and then get to a corner route. I just, so by the time, look, by the time Russ gets the ball back into his hand, Judy's open, but it's like, we're already dang near at the sideline. Russ doesn't take that much time to get the ball, grip it, and throw it. And he's just late, right? I, I, I just, yeah, the design is tough. I don't love the design there. I like the creativity from the play call itself. Meaning, like, I love the flea flicker, you know? But I'm not sure I love the design of it. And then you can see he just doesn't get a good grip on it. And we end up under throwing it. Judy almost comes back and makes a heck of a play. But falls incomplete. So I got that as a no grade because I think that's a tough. I think it's a tough one set setup wise. Okay. We got another one where we got a lot of pre-snap. Getting in and out of the play. So you guys can see it. We've got a scramble here. 
Okay, so something about this play that I want to break down is front side, we have this ultra high paired with this kind of sail. It's more of a sail than an out, okay? We love this, reading this thing down one to two to three, but there is an alert on these kind of plays where if we get split safety, know that your backside end is going to be there. Okay, against split safety, against these two shell coverages, man, that back that backside in route is a really good place to go. And part of me wishes, you know, and I get it, he gets bumped off the spot, but part of me wishes we could have gotten bumped off the spot, re-anchored, and delivered to Cortland Sutton here. So, granted, is that a lot of, hey, you got a defender who's pushing the pocket, so I, now I want you to slide and re-anchor. Sure, that's a lot of woulda, coulda, shouldas coming out of my mouth. But I do think there's a world in which if Russ scrambles here with his eyes up, like there, eyes are still up, right? If we get those eyes still up, then we could really drive that in route. So, hey, scramble for seven. We'll never make that a, uh, that was ne that's never a bad thing, right? Scramble for seven yards. Can't hate that. Here we got fourth down and we got same side boot and we end up not converting. So I'm going to break this thing down for you guys. What we do is we reverse out and we're going to fake it to our back, but really it's a receiver. I think it's Mims. We're going to fake it to our back. We're going to have some sort of corner route. And then we're going to have some sort of shallow. The thing about this one is I don't mind the play call. I don't mind the creativity. But I just feel like, you know, this pretty covered up. You could maybe try to force this one in on this back shoulder. Because this guy's peeling back to make a play on it. He's driving down. But if you maybe body him up, you've got a shot at it. We're going to get pretty covered here on this backside over. It's like if we're throwing that corner out, ball needs to come out now. And like, I don't even know if he's around and ready for it. And then it's like Russ decides to pull it down and try to go make a play. And he just unfortunately fumbles it before he can extend it. Fourth down, same side boot. I, I don't mind the call at all. I just think Russ has got to go finish it, make a play. Go finish it and make a play. This one, it's not super complicated. I just like that we were able to get out there and make a play. So for me, what we're doing here is we're just setting up running back screen. So we got our back coming across the formation. It's on slow screen. Normally, we try to throw this thing from the pocket, right? We drop back, try to throw from the pocket. Russ has an angle that to where he can't get it in. I love that he scrambles a little bit to free up his guy and then flips him the ball. So look at this little scramble outside. So normally you get vertical here, try to throw it over top. He He's like, hey, I don't have a window here. Gets outside, boom, little underhand flip. Let's the running back go do his thing. That to me, those are the little hidden yards, right? Those are the plays that with some quarterbacks end as an incompletion. And then with Russell ends as a completion move, you know, we're moving the chains. Just a nice little reaction here to get out of the pocket, flip it to his back. Yeah. This one is just exactly the recipe for these Broncos if they're going to continue to make a run this year. Okay. Chiefs are giving us backside one-on-one -on -one coverage. This safety is going to end up getting to the middle of the field. We've got exactly what we want. We've got a go route backside with Cortland Sutton. Okay. Not even backside, but we've got our go route to the boundary with Cortland Sutton. Russ does a great job getting this thing up and down, giving him a chance to make a play. Look how far this safety is out of the, out of the play. That's because Russ holds him with his eyes, but also gets the ball up and down, right? There's something to be said about throwing a 50-50 ball, but throwing it with tempo and pace so that you don't have to deal with that safety, and that's exactly what we get here football-wise. Get a little tempo, get a little pace to it. 
This is the best. Look at his teammates reacting for him, right? Teammates and coaches, everybody tapping their head because he went up and over. Look at these guys. Look at Sutton or uh, Sertan and Simmons. Like just everybody excited for him. That's a team that's playing some exciting. I don't know. It's some exciting football. Some exciting football. You know, can they make a little run here? Ah. If the defense keeps playing like they can, they definitely can go make a run. Okay. Now we got a little play action halfback screen. A little play action halfback screen. Again, I'm going to let it roll for you guys. But I love this play call because we're at a point in the game where the Broncos are going to start to really run the football to try to ice this thing. So you're going to run the football to try to ice this thing. But what you're going to do is you're going to run screen off a of play action. So people think, okay, hey, they're running the ball to ice the game, which means we're going to get run, and then we're also going to get play action deep shots, right? All right, team, I hope you enjoyed those nine clips. What you just saw a glimpse of was clip number 10 because, like I said earlier, this breakdown is longer over on Patreon, okay? I know you guys hate paywalls. So do I. But the reality is, as we've grown, we're dealing with some more issues where monetization is harder, so we have to jump over to Patreon. I hope that you guys think the content is good enough to support the channel so we can keep growing. I can keep taking time away to do stuff like this. You know, I got the four kids at home, got the wife. Let's make sure they can eat upgraded mac and cheese. Let's get some hot dogs in that mac and cheese instead of just typical mac and cheese. But I don't want you guys to have to jump over to Patreon to hear my final thoughts, which is this, man. Broncos just beat the Kansas City Chiefs. They go, they're going into the bye week. Defense playing well. They got the bills after the bye week. If they find a way to win that one, and you're sitting there at four wins just beating the Chiefs and the Bills, might be a little bit of mile-high magic on the way, a little late run into the holiday season, which I think everyone would be excited about. So, guys, I want you to comment. You let me know what you think about this Broncos team, about this last win. And until next time, peace.